guys, this is the Flickety Fish, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a logo just like mine. So stay tuned because we'll be making logos that look like this, 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 and this. So let's get right into it. So you have to go to Pixlr first. So all you have to do is go to Google, type in Pixlr. Oops, I spelled it wrong and still searched up. But yeah leave that site and all you have to do is create a new image and I recommend doing about 200 by 200 pixels you can do 300 by 300 but yeah all you'll have to do is make it transparent and let's press OK so it should be quite small this big uh, and it's gonna be okay because all you have to do is type the letter of your channel like mine was F for flickety fish but let's say your channel name is Harry Potter funny moments or something like Harry the wizard H would be what you do um, or you could do something like whatever your um, name starts with for your YouTube channel you just use the first letter of that and that's it so let's start with something like Lex Mobile Gaming which would be an L and I'd change my font so it would stick in uh, I used Perfect Dark for my logo, so that's another font. You can download gaming fonts if you want, but Perfect Dark is at the P section, which would be right about here. There it is. So, uh, P, Perfect Dark, right here. It looks quite cool. And then for me, I italicized it and made it bold, and all you have to do is make the font big but not too big something that like fit in and once it's ready you just move it straight to the center and then you keep on adjusting it until you think it's perfect I'd change the color around I'm just gonna make mine light blue sort of yeah that looks fine and then I think it should be a bit smaller because we'll be doing some editing around that so yeah so once you got this ready you're pretty good so all you have to do is click right click the uh, layer sign and click layer styles and then it'll bring you to this page it'll say layer styles at the top uh, I do outer glow and I make it hardness pretty much almost max and then I change the size to about three and four and you, I usually cho choose the opposite of the color but for um, demonstration purposes I'll just use a bit of a lighter version so it sort of like looks cool and that's what it should look like and now you have to have a background that sticks out of that so that would be about um, red so I'll do red crystal backgrounds and that should bring me to here and lots of cool black uh, red crystal backgrounds uh, I'll have to say that I'm gonna go with this nah. so that looks really good but I'm just gonna try that out it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be really big compared oh it's another error okay let's do this and that one looks really nice so I'm just going to use this one, and it's also a square, so we can actually change the size, but, okay, so we're going to drag the background layer for that image, and drag it right on top of it, and it should say paste layer, move the layer down underneath it, and voila. So since the um, layer styles outer glow isn't sticking out enough, I might change it to... Um, sort of darker blue that should help it a little bit and yeah so basically now all you have to do is make the corners a bit dark so it looks like the center is glowing out and you can do that with the drawing tool you just go to an, the bottom layer drag it on top and then you begin making squares like this it can be black but oh um, X that out don't know where that came from but once you made it a square around the whole thing it looks pretty ugly because you're just like why uh, are you doing this all you're doing is making huge black dots everywhere and yeah once you're done uh, it should look something like this and if that doesn't look very pretty 
but once you go to a filter Gaussian blur I think that Gaussian blur and you make it quite big then that's what it should look like and that looks amazing so I hope you enjoyed guys this was the Flickety Fish teaching you how to make a cool logo just using Pixlr for your YouTube channel. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And after you're done, all you have to do is go to save, put on maximum quality, which is PNG, should be that, and then you just click OK and save it. So boom, image saved, and now we can just upload it to our YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This was the Flickety Fish teaching you how to do a Pixlr logo. I already said that already, but that's okay. We can repeat it again, so don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This was the Flickety Fish, and I'm signing out.